Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with 2022 Panini Contenders Football. Six box, half case, pick your team number 10. This is a Bounty Hunter break. It'd be nice if we, uh, it'd be awesome if we found a card numbered exactly like that to give away that kind of money. Big thanks to this group right here for getting into it. Pick your team 10. Good luck everybody. Remember, I marked all these 10 so we know they're from the same case. Good luck. All because of you? I would not want you in front of the camera. Rex is saying. Oliver, you want to be a, a guest breaker? Maybe Oliver. I am a pro athlete, Victor. I've worked the same hours as a pro athlete. Guess breaker to do garbage pail kids. The only way that would work if it was like, you know, like an artist from Garbage Pail Kids. <laughs> but imagine if it was just like some random dude, Victor Sullivan opening up Garbage Pail cards. People would flock to the stream. I'd be like, that'd be like saying, I'd be like saying, you know what, the, uh, you know, the Rolling Stones should just have a, uh, a guest guitarist just come in and play, play, uh, play some of the hits. That wouldn't make sense. Get a guest break at the National, then I can go and party or shop on my own. I mean, at that point... Jaspies might say, well, why do we even need Joe Jaspie at all? And then where would I be, Mac? There's Lewis Sin, rookie ticket autograph for the Vikings. Victor with that one. Can we get a Jaspi parent for Mother's or Father's Day? <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, hey, Mom, you want to come in on Mother's Day to open up cards? I don't think they'll go over well with the parents. I can just only imagine asking Nick's dad, hey, hey, uh, hey Mike, you want to, here's Khalil Shakir, hey, hey dad, you want to you wanna come in on Father's Day? O open up some cards? Be like, no way, man. The National Offer, if someone buys a personal break, they can break it on camera? I suppose they could, but... Hey, here's some sauce, Sauce Gardner. Starting my own, <laughs> what do you think this is, oh, my Mac? What do you think we've been doing here? Uh, Scott with the Jets, and there's Troy Anderson, rookie ticket auto for for Nancy and the Falcons, she won that team in the uh, the filler. Sauce was on Carl's, pretty nice. We're gonna do left right randomizers for these, by the way.
The left right random managers will also include those two as well. And there's Jordan Mason Jar. SNL has Mother's Day episodes. I don't know. We're, we're a little different than S. I appreciate the comparison, but not quite SNL level yet. 41 out of 99. We need 24 out of 99, but here's Rookie of the Year contenders, Wandale Robinson. Carl should be a guest breaker. I don't think so, Carl. Leave, leave it to the pros. Leave it to the pros. Be like me asking the Eagles, hey, can I can I go on stage and play some uh, play some guitar, sing some Eagles songs? No, 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 Rex. Can you imagine? Hey, you know what? Instead of uh, instead of a Mother's Day brunch. Or instead of taking you somewhere nice or going on a trip, come on into a come on into the shop. Open up some some football cards for Rex and the gang. I'm sure, they'd love that. This was the last non Jaspies employee that I had during a break. I mean, I guess, uh, I guess all Oliver has been in the has been <laughs> been within camera shot while I'm doing a break. You're gonna take? Oh well, I mean that that's a good anniversary. If you bring the Jaspies, that's a different story. That's, that's a destination. That's a destination. You can come in. Uh, you're visiting Hermosa Beach. It's a nice part of town. Yeah. Carl, Carl, by the way, I think it might be lagging. Make sure you're uh, watching the current point in the stream. Here's 44 out of 99. Damn, we need 24. The Kyle Hamilton still goes to you, Aaron. We got close to a bounty. Make sure everyone, uh, you hit that live button. Make sure you're at the current point of the stream, ladies and gentlemen, to keep up with the chat, keep up with the combo, not miss any trade windows, maybe break credit giveaways. There have been some people, it's happened before, we're lagging behind the video and then completely missed a, missed a giveaway. It's Traylon Burks for the Titans, that's for Oliver. We got 11 out of 99, Justin Jefferson. That'll be for Minnesota. That'll be for Victor. Yes. Devin can come down too, Victor. Be a good time. We're closed on Sundays though, ladies and gentlemen. Closed on Sundays. So adjust your vacation plans accordingly. Here's Jordan Stout. Uh, kind of like the beers I like to drink. Ales and stouts are, uh, are some of the ones I like. I don't drink beer that often, but when I do. Although, I'll have a Pacifico every once in a while. It's Ty Chandler, rookie ticket honor. I do love a Peroni. I want to everyone have that it's an Italian beer, I think. It's sort, of, it's sort of a lighter beer, kind of tastes like, um, like maybe slightly more refreshing Stella Artois. Here's Ty Chandler, Vikings. That's gonna go to, it's gonna go to Victor, Victor and the Vikings.
Speaking of lagging and missing out, Mike said it must be anniversary of Vikings missing their first round draft pick. That's right. I noticed some stories here and there about that. What had happened? Like, what's the gist of that story, Mike? Did they just did they just lose track of time? And then you then when the clock runs out, you forfeit that pick, right? Do you forfeit it or just do you, do you just get skipped? Here's Ryan Stonehouse. He's a stone house. That goes to Oliver. Rookie ticket autograph. Hold on to this one, Oliver. Throw this into a, the back of a drawer. Check on this. Check on Ryan Stonehouse twenty years from now, and see if he uh, see if he is a Hall of Fame punter. And then you'll be you'll be glad that uh, you'll be glad that you kept his rookie card. They didn't lose the big. Oh, they just got skipped. That's how embarrassing. How embarrassing. If you're... During the 2000 they missed their chance to draft for the line. The Jaguars and Panthers just made selections before. Minnesota made it. Ozzy said he couldn't get through. Couldn't get through. Oh, were they doing the draft from their, what, like a war room in Minnesota? They called into New York to their representative there. And what, the line was busy? How would that, how would that work? Is that right? Stonehouse went to modern day? Oh, definitely a keeper then. Local school. What was Minnesota doing? Why weren't they why weren't they at the draft? The decision maker has to be at the draft. Maybe at the draft? Or in an office at the draft? If only Zoom was available back in 2003. All right, we got Louis Sin again. Sign? Sin? Guinea? If it was Italian, I'd be... Louis Guine. That goes to uh, Victor, the Vikings. Victor and the Vikes. We got Jalen Waddle. That is three out of ten. Nice low number for Miami. Victor. Nice. This card will be waddling your way soon. We got a Wandale Robinson. Goes to Aaron Billingsley and the New York Football Giants. For the breaks during the draft, would I be able to pull off a Mel Kuyper hairdo? Seems unlikely. But I'll ask the hair and makeup girl tomorrow. See what, or on Thursday, see what she can do. There's uh, Derek Young. Seattle, Justin. And Devontae Adams. 145 out of 199. No, not close to a bounty. 
But this will go to the uh, Raiders. Mickey with the Raiders. That's a catch. The Raiders. Here's a Trenton Gill rookie auto. As Scott, I think Scoot was saying, Scott was saying earlier, a rookie punter auto, an RPA. Bears, that's going to be for Victor. Hold on to this, Vic. You never know. Could be a Hall of Fame punter right there, and you'll be glad you have his rookie auto from 2022 Contenders Football. Gilo has been working on his 40 time. He'll be running the 40 yard dash at the draft. We'll catch him on ESPN. Yeah, we'll, we'll catch we'll catch Gilo like tripping over his shoelaces and tumbling end over end. And that'll be like on a Sports Center bloopers or something like that. That'd be awesome, Gilo. Gilo, would you would you be embarrassed by that or would you would you embrace Embrace the viralness of your uh, of your tumble. Wow, you're gonna put it in your wall, so 200 years later, someone will find it. Right? They'll be they'll be tearing down the house, rebuilding the house, and they're like, "Wow, we found a Trenton Gill rookie auto in there." Can you believe that? President Trenton Gill used to be a punter for the Bears. Who knew he'd become president afterwards? After his illustrious Hall of Fame career. Yeah, breaking news. Devin Booker, pretty good. Gila would take a not top 10 appearance as a success. Nice. It'd be like those, uh, it'd be like those, uh, those videos of, who's that guy in Atlanta where they, where they run around the warning track, but they give, they give a fan like a head start. And as they get to center field, this like former like track sprinter just takes off and more often than not catches them. But every once in a while you'll get some videos of like some a fan who almost gets close to the finish line at right at the right field foul pole and then like trips or something. The freeze, that's right. The freeze. Thanks Gilo. Then Oliver, then Thibaut, then Mike Tower. Kings are on TV over there. I guess the Suns are going to win this game here. Let's switch back to the Kings. I think Mac was saying did they scratch a goal back? There is uh, Kobe Bryant for the Seahawks. Football edition of Kobe Bryant. Justin with the Seahawks. Here's Easy E. 13 out of 49 going to one of Victor and the Dolphins. You think Kobe Bryant, this this Kobe Bryant, yells Kobe? He's a corner. Maybe when he gets a gets an interception, it's Kobe. Gets the interception. Maybe he does that. Or is it when he? Oh yeah. Or is it when he's shooting his uh his shower towel into the laundry hamper? Your showcase ticket autograph, John Mechie. It's like the rookie card step and repeat pattern in the background that goes to Stephen Flat in the Texans. I think definitely after a shower, right, Oliver? There's Mike Evans, 30 out of 99. We need 24 out of 99. 
getting warmer. That's Jose and the Buccaneers. Easy does wrap. There's a Samuel Womack. Samuel Womack. Reminds me of uh, who's that? Uh, that singer Bobby Womack, who did the song "Across a Hundred and Tenth Street," which is heavily featured in uh, an underrated. Tarantino movie, Jackie Brown. That goes to uh, Sean Maddock in the Niners. Across 110th Street. And we got Logan Hall. Rookie ticket autograph going to the Buccaneers. Jose with the Buccaneers. Two more boxes to go. And we've got a ton of orders coming in here, ladies and gentlemen. There's like 20 some odd orders here. <laughs> no, not Logan Paul. Logan Hall. Yeah, Mike Tower. Uh, that play happened earlier in this game. It looked, uh, it looked pretty painful. I think there it was like a full slap shot, and then he got, and then the puck deflected off of his face, and then went into the goal. I don't know what happened, but or I don't know what uh, has happened since. I don't know if he lost teeth. I don't know if he's. Uh, if he's still in the game. Right, yeah, it's true. I'm sure he's fine. I know, right? I mean, I wonder... Who's played more games together? <laughs> Paul George and Kawhi or Anthony Davis and LeBron? Like as a duo. On the court together, in, in games together. There must be a number out there somewhere. I have a feeling, yeah, I have a feeling it's 80 and LeBron. Is it by a lot? Or is it closer than we think? It might be by a lot. I don't know. That's what I'm asking. We got Jerome Ford. The assassination of Jesse James by the coward Jerome Ford. That's for Victor. Cleveland, this is for you. There's Skylar Thompson. Goes to Miami. That's also for Victor. What's the vector, Victor? Roger, Roger. Huh? 
What's the vector, Victor? Roger, huh? Here's a ticket stub autograph, 15 out of 31. That'll be for Houston, Stephen Flat, and the Texans. Would AD have more time as LeBron's teammate than any other player? No, I think I. LeBron and Kyrie must have played longer together, no? Maybe not. Here's Zachary Carter for the Bengals. That's uh, Nancy with the Bengals. Who's played as LeBron's teammate? Yeah, Bron and Kyrie probably played a lot more together. Here's uh, Damon Clark for Mike and the Cowboys. And we've got a power players, three out of 25. I like the foil right there, too. That is TJ Watt for uh, Jason and the Steelers. Is it Ilgauskas? That was, that was uh, Oliver's first instinct. Six hundred and forty one games played on the same team across the Cavs and Heat, that's right, the Heat too. And Verjao is too. It's a better movie, Airplane or Naked Gun? Airplane. Naked Gun or Hot? Is that even a question, Rex? I think uh, I think like just the first hot shots was was okay, but definitely as a series, not come, you know. But like, but I don't know. It wasn't that great. I feel like Naked Gun, at least the first one, is considered a comedy classic. It's Kevin Harris for Karen and the Patriots. You think if LeBron's son doesn't make it out of G League, LeBron him, will devote himself to play with him? That'd be kind of funny. Can you can you imagine LeBron in the G League? I feel like he would dominate. There is Zonovan Knight going to the Jets. Scott, last spot mojo. 
Is Bronny a five-star prospect? I don't know. I think he is. Isn't he going to isn't he going to college for a year? And here is a Malik Willis rookie ticket autograph right on the card for Oliver and the Titans. Got the Titans in the filler and gets the Malik Willis auto. And we got Percy Butler, Andrew and the Commanders. All right, so oof, rough game for the Los Angeles Kings. Let's see what's happening in the NBA. Six minutes left. Phoenix trying to close this one out. Clippers were kind of coming back, but if they can't stop Devin Booker, that's going to be a problem. There's uh, Fedarian Mathis. Goes to Andrew and the Commanders. Can you imagine, Devin, if he does a decision two after his contract runs out with the Lakers? He's like, I've decided I'm taking my talents to the South Bay Lakers and Bronny and to play with my son, Bronny. Here's another Stenhouse. Yeah, that's right, Oliver. You, Malik Willis, Ryan Stenhouse, two future Hall of Famers. And there's C.D. Lamb. 009 out of 199. That will be for Mike and Dallas. And we got close to some bounties, but just didn't quite hit him. But a pretty solid half. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. Let's do that left-right randomizer, and then we'll do a quick uh, recap. And then we'll go through. we got about 20-plus orders coming in here, so let's, let's check those out. Let's see what the people want to do. All right, so let's go back here. Let's do left, right, and let's roll and randomize it seven times. Side on top after seven, we'll get him. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. Right side cards, we'll get those. All right, good luck, everybody. Or Thanks, everybody. Good luck. It's, it's too late for that now. But thanks, everyone, for getting in. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time for the next one. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.